नमस्कार कार्यक्रम सी ए सरोकार को यह नया श्रृंखला में स्वागत है दर्शकवृंद आज हम विशेषतः एसिसीए का बारे में कुराका एसिसीए का बारे में कुराका हमी द रेडिशन होटल काठमंडू में आईपुगे रेडिशन होटल में आज एसिसीए संबंधी विशेष सेमिनार को आयोजना होते यो विशेषतः नेपाल में एसिसीए को शिक्षा प्रदान करने इंस्टिट्यूट व कलेज तैयार कर सेमिनार को कार्यक्रम हो रसिसीए ने इसलिए लीड करते आयक्रम को फलोअप संगे हम कार्यक्रम सुरू करो लेट्सार्ट विथ मिस्टर दिलीप माई क्वेश्चन इज वट आर एम्प्लॉयर लुकिंग फॉर फ्रॉम द एसिसीए रिक्रूट्स and also the challenges uh, faced by the acca students in the work life uh, when we look in terms of uh, hiring new new individuals or staff into the organization uh, there are some other other aspects of uh, the requirement as well the job specifications such <coughs> as the people skill or the soft skill so that is something uh, that you probably can develop across your career and uh, these soft, soft skills are the other part of the coin that you require to be successful in your career uh, uh, rabin just like uh, dilip highlighted uh, the challenges uh, employers are facing among students just like communication negotiation ethical issues and plus uh, the their awareness about the emerging issues in the market in the accounting field so what do you think how can tutors support uh, us in in employers talent management agenda well Uh, we need to be more uh, focused into the type of market that it exists in our country and for that uh, as tutors we could uh, share our experiences in the workplace that would add value to the students in having a glimpse of how the business environment really operates that is uh, one part and uh, the other thing is like as regards acca we don't have a local variant paper out here that is basically of the tax and the law and uh, when the students uh, after being affiliates and in course of their student uh, being a student as well when they need to go and work in uh, the workplace actually in that area they basically seem to lag behind compared with uh, uh, let's say the students of uh, the local chartered accountancy body that is i can so in that area what nc has been doing basically is uh, like we uh, periodically conduct the tax training classes uh, to the students uh, so that it benefits them in their workplace and the other thing like um, basically enhancing their employability skills maybe like uh, cv writing how to face the interviews uh, how to work in the team basically uh, these are the kind of areas that the students need to improve upon besides the technical skills that they acquire in course of their studies and we as tutors have been supporting the students directly indirectly in organized way or uh, during uh, the course of conduction of the classes so these are the basic areas that we are working upon and are improving as well uh, which may ultimately help the students to be more saleable in the market thank you uh, rita would you like to share uh, your regional uh, experience with us that what uh, learning partners and tutors are doing in the region or in the world to support acca students in getting the membership along with their studies yes thanks abiba um in terms of regional developments <coughs> particularly within south asia and southeast asia and certainly in the middle east we find you know a lo- number of learning providers in most markets tend to have a lot of what i would call retail customers or retail students so these are walk in students uh they attend your classes sometimes they may be full time students sometimes they are working uh but they are doing acca out of their own volition what we find a lot of you know learning providers now increasingly doing is to approach companies and to offer training programs <coughs> and packages to large employers to large institutional employers to have a business to business customer base so i think moving into 2013 this calendar year we are going to work very closely with learning providers you may have your existing relationships with a number of different corporate employers already but you know if you develop or want to develop other uh, relationships we are happy to help you and when we are out here in the market and we will be back in you know nepal at least four to six more times after after this trip whenever we are here we will let all of you <coughs> as learning providers know 
and we will go with you to visit corporate employers. Be a part of one of the world's largest and fastest growing professional accountancy bodies. Expand your professional horizon through ACCA at National College of Accountancy, Kathmandu. Mr. Pratap, uh, you are uh, in Nepal and you are voluntary representative of ACCA. So in your perspective, does a culture, we are talking about students to study and work at the same time. So do you think that uh, the culture conducive to students studying and working together? In the context of Nepal, I'm not quite sure uh, how many students are working full time uh, doing full-time studies and how many are doing part-time studies because we don't have that sort of data. This is something I think HCC should provide. Uh, but uh, in our culture, you know, parents support students and they don't have to worry about making money while they're studying. That's our culture. But even then, I think uh, I found that a number of students, they would like to work during the course of their studies and gain experience because you are competing with other accounting body and they are working, they have to do their three years training before they qualify. So psychologically, they also want to gain experience uh, in the country. And uh, when they qualify, when they become, they become affiliate, they would like to get their membership as quickly as possible. That's what I found. But, uh, uh, the parents are willing to support them, and some parents probably they encourage them to do full-time course. You quickly pass first of all, then you look for your job. That may be their <clears throat> uh, sort of. Uh, they may be telling their children that, uh, okay, why why are you worry working? No, uh, in our society probably they they may feel that they cannot afford to support their children. So. Uh, um, more and more students, and they, they, they would like to work and gain their experience and, uh, and complete their studies. But what I found <clears throat> in, some, in some cases, the students also, they want to do, complete their studies first because it's quite difficult to work and study. And I, as an employer also, I found that a few, some of my trainees, they just quit their job and they wanted to complete their studies first and and follow the training and uh, complete the training later on. So I think uh, mm, I, I think SCC should provide the statistics. What is the statistics in Nepal? No, uh, we don't quite know. But quite a number of students they study here and uh, the final stage they go out abroad. They, that is also uh, uh, we found that uh, number of students leave the country and they gain their training outside the completed uh, uh, courses outside the country. If we get the statistics, no, uh, how many students registered? Even we don't know the growth rate of students in Nepal. Uh, some recently, I found I mean, some of the uh, some of the members uh, were just uh, questioning: Is the growth rate as good as in the past? So probably I think we had about 20 percent, 30 percent growth in the past. So I'm not quite sure what is the growth rate. I am not quite sure how many students leave Nepal to complete their studies and go abroad, that is also not available. And the ratio of full-time and part-time students, and the students where they are working, in which sector? Private sector, accounting firm, banking sector, and your sector. So that is, I think, lacking. I think if that's a statistics is provided to the learning providers, mm -hmm. and that will be quite helpful to, uh, to assess no, what's happening in the country. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, uh, Robin, uh, like we have put <coughs> lots of responsibility on tutor's shoulder, that they should motivate the students, they should meet the, so that students can meet the employer's expectations, because in the end, the end customer is employer, to, yes. So like, what are the challenges? Like Mr. Pratap said that um, students uh, do intend to work uh, in the Nepal market while studying. Mm -hmm. So what are the challenges uh, being a tutor you faced in motivating students and in developing their communication and soft skills? Uh, uh, cultural context is one thing, uh, but uh, working in a concerted way, in a focused way, uh, definitely changes can be brought about. Uh, the basic thing is, uh, one part is uh, the flexibility of ACCA. ACCA does provide flexibility as regards to the entry of the students. I'm talking in uh, the context of Nepal. 
and uh, students at the time of joining ACCA, uh, they are uh, near uh, in their twenties, uh, uh, in the in their early twenties basically. And uh, the cultural context in Nepal it says that uh, the parents they uh, tend to fund uh, the education of their children. So basically, what happens is like uh, the students they first prioritize in the completion of their qualification, basically just the studies part. And uh, after the completion of their studies, they tend to go and work uh, in the real workplace. So uh, this is uh, one basic challenge uh, that we have to face, that we have been facing uh, in motivating the students to go for uh, the work experience at the same time. Uh, but uh, like uh, membership, it is vitally important. That uh, definitely cannot be denied. Ultimately, we all are pushing for that. We are working for that. So in that regards, as I already said, uh, cultural context is one thing, but uh, in a concerted way, change can be brought about. So we as tutors, most of my colleagues, most of my friends, we have been working on that end as well. Uh, we are encouraging students, we are motivating students to work at the same time. So doing that, what basically happens is like uh, whatever they have learned in course of their studies, they can apply that to workplace. So uh, like uh, the satisfaction factor is there. And whatever skills that they acquire uh, in their workplace can be applied in course of their studies at the professional level as well. So that supports both the ways. And uh, these are the basic areas that we have been working on. And uh, like easing uh, their transference to membership, completion of their exams and transference to membership within a limited duration. And that enhances their employability prospects, career prospects. So these are the basic uh, ways we have been working on and we have been telling to motivate the students to pursue membership at the same time. But challenges are there, definitely. Yes. I just want to share uh, my experience with working with, in the Manasa region. Uh -huh. uh, there are a few ALPs who have the direct linkages with employers. Mm -hmm. So whenever employer have uh, the vacancies of the training, they do contact those ALPs and then the ALPs uh, select the students, train them that have to give interview, what is the job about, what is the organization and about, and then they send it to the employers. So do you have such a model, yes, such an yes, activity Yes, here? yes, we do, we do have that in place. Uh, the tutors uh, that are teaching in National College of Accountancy, uh, they also are professionals in different organizations, and uh, they do share with us uh, the vacancies that are available in their organization, and uh, the different audit forms, they uh, post vacancies in uh, the Facebook wall of NC that uh, most uh, of our students are familiar with, and even we have a, a formal mechanism of communicating those vacancies to students as well. So we do have such systems in place, and we uh, are still working closely with the employees. We are developing ties with the employees so that uh, the students can be readily placed in uh, the work environment. So uh, we are working on that end, yes. Uh, thank you very much, uh, panel members. So now it's your turn for the question. So you can raise your hand if you have, yes, please. Mr. Brown. What would be the best CPD that could be conducted within his tenure so that all the professionals would be benefited and it will be a plus point for his this tenure. When it comes to the continuous professional development, uh, it is not only one uh, areas that we could focus on. It is the multi-dimensional areas, and uh, there are various resources and ways how we could uh, how we could carry on with our continuous professional development. When it comes to our particular context in Nepal, uh, we got to look at uh, what are the uh, what are the areas that our members are engaged with. Uh, but if it is public practice, then probably the areas of uh, development or learning could be the local regulations, host countries, host governments, uh, rules and regulations, and the procedures. In addition to that, uh, some of the other soft skills, such as like uh, uh, writing reports and soft skill and people skills and those things. So there are various opportunities or various possibilities that we could do the, uh, these continuous professional development CPTs. And, and for that, uh, uh, I'm sure like uh, we can work together and uh, in addition to that uh, the recent developments uh, or the trends where, where ACCA is heading towards us as like uh, e-assessment and, uh, and the focus on ethics and uh, there's uh, what employers really want from the ACCA members and uh, how the market is growing and what market really expect from ACCA member. ACCA has done a lot of research and ACCA is moving into that direction and put on a lot of resources into that and I've attended a couple of meetings and seminars similar to this and uh, 
a home based or abroad so that can be shared with the members and uh, we could work together how we could make a best out of it and uh, i'm open to that and uh, it is probably something uh, subject to uh, discussion and uh, probably in the best interest of all of us and i'll be more than happy to continue on that be a part of one of the world's largest and fastest growing professional accountancy bodies expand your professional horizon through acca at national college of accountancy kathmandu No, and, and I must I must thank both uh, Dilip and, and Pratapji, you know, for for having uh, you know held the fort here in Nepal for all these years. Uh, mm -hmm. But I think ACC also has a responsibility in in the delivery of, uh, of of ensuring that you know we we provide to members opportunities for towards CPD. Now ACC stated policy is that CPD training it can be through a number of sources. So you know even if your own organization has its own internal training programs, they will be counted towards CPD. Right. So there's no reason to attend. Uh, an ACCA conducted CPD to achieve your your, your CPD requirements. However, um, I think moving into the year forward, we will be doing you know joint conferences, uh, releasing research and insights. So, for example, areas such as uh, developments in corporate governance, for example, uh, developments in 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 um, you know corporate reporting, or perhaps uh, the the changing role of audit in the world given the, the 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 financial downturn and so on and so forth. So we've got a whole range of research and insights which ACCA has been conducting, or e assessment as as Dilip mentioned as well. So we'll be trying to find partner bodies or perhaps with a, a, a industry organization or a trade body to try and do a joint event or conference here in the context of, 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 of Kathmandu. And when we do that, that will also be a CPD event for, for US members as well. So these are things that we will be, we, we have planned for. We will be delivering those and we will be uh, you know, disseminating the information to you as and when the times come as well, um, so that you are also aware of the opportunities um, that you have in, in terms of your own CPD development um, that come as a result of ACCA's um, you know, activities in the market. Th thanks, Biraj. So now, in the next step to your strategy, especially in the Nepal, rather than you know, supply focus, pressing on the supply, what is your strategy? Like one, two, three, this, these are the things the ACCA is going to do to create a local market and awareness about the ACCA qualification here in Nepal. The Accounting Standard Board of Nepal, uh, the whole board members, they were in Bombay, and uh, uh, one of the ACCA tutors in Bombay, he provided IFRS training to our board members, Accounting Standard Board. I spoke to them if they were interested to get the help of ACCA in Nepal for for the implementation of IFRS. They are quite positive, no? uh, the Accounting Standard Board of Nepal. Okay. So if we can engage them and uh, provide resources to Accounting Standard Board, that will be quite, uh, uh, I think, uh, good for, for Nepal, and then we can move forward. I think. Okay. Uh, is there any other question before? No, it means that you accept the responsibility. Be a part of one of the world's largest and fastest growing professional accountancy bodies. Expand your professional horizon through ACCA at National College of Accountancy, Kathmandu. Host of the Shwind, in his Samagri Hukasatma, Aso Kalagi, Hemli, Karikrim C. Sor Karvata, Bida Magnu Panevilla, Boshikosa. Karikrim Samadiki Salas, Suzabu, a pretty clear way, Hamila Nimna Teganama Sampogana, Sakno Nesa. Host, Azakalagi, Hamrukarikum Kasam Puna, you need Sangi, Masuras Lapanibida Dinus, Nepal Kopahilu New Channel, Sagramata Television, Herdeganukala, Namaskar.